Hey, John here. I just wanted to take a second and share with you something I've been thinking a lot about during this whole coronavirus pandemic and the disruption it's caused. And that's this, that there's just so many questions that people have different opinions about. And there's a lot of strong feelings about those questions. And then there's layers and layers to those questions that are hard to sort out. And you see it in the government. Government's pointing fingers of blame at each other. China blaming the U.S., the U.S. blaming China. You see it uh, with in, in America where, you know, politicians are blaming this, this party and, and the other party's blaming that party and everyone's pointing fingers at each other and you should do more and you should do this. And, well, what about the bailout in America? Should the government bail out? You know, should there be money spent for that? And what should be included in that bailout? And, and then you have the church issue and should churches meet or not meet and some are like well during the great plague in the middle ages the church in Europe kept their doors open we should keep our doors open and others are saying well definitely not you should love your neighbor as yourself which means you shouldn't meet and well what does it mean to love your neighbors as yourself and how can we do that and and then which businesses really are essential and what should be open and what should be closed and why should that be the case? And just questions upon questions upon questions. And I'm sure you have your own questions and you have your own fears about those questions. What's going to be the impact on the economy long range? And are we going to be able to make ends meet? And how is this all going to end? And when will it all end? And how is it all going to play out? And loads and loads of questions and those questions feed our fears and our worries our concerns and our anxieties they can feed our frustrations and in the midst of all of that psalm 131 has really been resonating with me and i wanted to share it with you so let me read you psalm 131 super short and this is what it says "O oh lord my heart is not proud my eyes are not raised up too high I don't occupy myself with things too great for me or things too weighty for me, but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O oh, Israel, put your hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever. Right at the beginning of the psalm, you hear what the topic is, things that are hard to sort out, things that are too high, too weighty, too big, too great for us average people to sort out, right? Like, and the psalmist says, I've come to the point where I just don't occupy myself with those things. I'm not overly concerned about those things. Instead, he, he says his soul is like a weaned child within him. And this picture of this weaned child. In fact, a couple weeks ago, my daughter-in-law told me something that really made me think of this psalm. Um, my little granddaughter, who's a year and a half old, crawled up in her mom's lap and just nestled in against her and just laid there and cuddled there for a long time. And that's a little bit unusual for my granddaughter. She's very active. She likes to play independently. She goes, but she just nestled in and quieted herself down. And that's the picture here in Psalm 131. And I think the reason that psalm has been resonating with me during this pandemic is there are so many questions we can't sort out, so many things we can't figure out. There are implications of decisions that, man, we just don't fully understand. And there are layers and layers of concerns that are hard to figure out. And I think this psalm paints a really good picture for us in the midst of this pandemic. We can't sort it all out. We don't know what the ramifications are going to be. We don't know when it's going to end. And we don't know how it's all going to play out. But we, like a weaned child, could crawl up in our Heavenly Father's lap and nestle in against his chest and just rest there. That's the picture of Psalm 31. And then it ends with, So, O Israel, O people of God, put your hope in God from this time forth and forever. And so may it be true of you and me in the midst of all of this, and all of this that we, we can't even really totally figure out, May we learn to rest like a weaned child in the lap of our Heavenly Father. I'm John Whitaker, and this is The Bible in Life. God bless you, and we'll talk again soon.